Hi, my name is Sophia. And I'm Donna. And this is Music News. In an unbelievably tragic turn of events, Corey Smoot, the guitarist of Gore, the heavy metal band known for their elaborate science fiction horror film costumes, was found dead over the weekend. Smoot, who joined the long-running band in 2002, had the longest tenure in the Maximus role. Frontman David Brocky stated that Smoot was easily one of the most talented guitarists in metal today. Gore later announced that Smoot's character, Flatus Maximus, will be retired following Smoot's passing. Satirical gossip site Celeb Jihad published a photograph of a topless young woman who closely resembled country pop star Taylor Swift. Celeb Jihad agreed to remove the image only if, and I quote, Swift agrees to convert to Islam, sacrifice a goat, and devour its entrails. We're not sure that'll be happening anytime soon, but in the meantime, Swift's team has a lawsuit pending. Heavy D, also known as Dwight Arrington Myers, died Tuesday after he collapsed in his Beverly Hills home. Heavy D was an actor, rapper, and record producer. He was the former leader of the hip-hop group Heavy D and the Boys, who broke into the music industry with their debut album, Living Large, in 1987. Then, in 1991, he rose to even greater success with his hit, Now That We Found Love. Heavy D was also responsible for recording the songs in television series like In Living Color and Mad TV. R. Kelly's new album is entitled Solo Coaster, The Diary of Me. Earlier this summer, Lindsay Lohan filed a defamation lawsuit against rapper, singer-songwriter, and record producer Pitbull for his use of disparaging lyrics about her in his song, Give Me Everything. The song, written by Neo and Afrojack, contains the line, Hustlers move aside so I'm tiptoeing to keep flowing. I got it locked up like Lindsay Lohan. Pitbull, who has already publicly apologized to Lohan for the rhyme and insisted that he meant no harm to her or her reputation, is now asserting that his lyric is justified by her multiple jail sins. Until recent years, electronic music has remained largely an underground phenomenon. With its growing popularity, Live Nation is ready to pounce. The company has launched an electronic music division in Canada, entitled Electronic Nation Canada. Veteran music producer Ryan Kruger is set to head up the division. If you're interested in sleeping in the very place Michael Jackson took his last breath, now you've got your chance. In December, the entire contents of Jackson's Homely Hills home will be auctioned, including his deathbed and a painting of the pop star riding a mountain steed clad in armor. It's still unclear to whom the proceeds will go to. For all the believers out there, you already know Justin has recently come out with his Christmas album entitled Under the Mistletoe. How creative. Strangely enough, this is a groundbreaking feat. According to Billboard, it's the first time in history that a Christmas album by a male has debuted number one on the charts. Thanks for watching. I'm Donna. And I'm Sophia. We'll see you next week.